So my videos are meant for newcomers to Cyberpunk 2077, people who still have questions. Hopefully you will find your answers right here. So watching this video, hopefully you've heard the term brain dance, but ain't quite sure what it is, or you might have a clue what it is, but you want to get the full story. Well, today we cover it all. Where it started, what it is now, the good, the bad, and the freaky. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also, to celebrate the release of Cyberpunk, I am giving away copies on every platform. To win one for yourself or a friend, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So a quick summary of Brain Dance. Well imagine virtual reality tenfold. Imagine virtual reality where it's not just visual. Imagine virtual reality where you fully experience the vision you are watching. From the emotions to the sensual, from the pain to the joy. That's what brain dance is and while within the world of cyberpunk, this gets deep, real deep. So you may just want to put your feet up. So where it started? Well, it was invented within the first decade of our century by some genius student from the University of California at Santa Cruz. Brain dance was quickly applied as a cutting edge aversion programming technique for convicted criminals. A short time later, it found use as a military simulator and then as a tool in psychological therapy. Of course, it still has use in the capacities for which it was originally developed, but none of those applications is as widespread or profitable as entertainment. Since the development of the newest generation of recording and editing techniques, brain dance is now everywhere. From the pinnacles of society to the lowest street hoodlums, everyone wants to enjoy the vivid colourful dreams that brain dance offers its users. So yes, brain dance is absolutely everywhere and more about this brain dance is undeniably the most popular entertainment of our time of 2077's time digital recordings of a person's experience stream directly into the neural system of a viewer via special augmentation are the television and computer games of the second half of the 21st century the secret of brain dance's popularity is not in its visual or audio components. Brain dance allows viewers to experience everything that the recorder felt or perceived emotions, sensations, thoughts, memories, the tension of their muscles. Not a single sensation is lost. During the brain dance session, you are someone else, and the experience is unforgettable. Now you can try and experience brain dance without entering a trance. The trance is obviously needed so you can, I don't know, get into the deepness of it. But streaming it will quickly overload the frontal cortex. This will happen if your brain is not forced into a receptive state. And this will cause disorientation, confusion and a rather harsh session. Prolonged use of brain dance in such a way can even result in minor brain damage. But some street junkies still prefer to play rough. There's even some illegal government and corporate penitentiaries where they have programs where brain dance is forced on subjects without putting them into a trance. Now you can experience brain dance alone or even in a group with sessions designed for interaction with multiple participants. Some high budget productions can afford to produce scenes with multiple actors interacting at the same time. But brain dance is more commonly for just one or two viewers because each additional participant greatly reduces the overall level of detail in an interaction. The technology is constantly developing and major studios and producers are working on even larger productions with even greater performance and profundity than those already available. So with brain dance being a major thing within the world of Cyberpunk 2077, it's no surprise that celebs are using it, marketing it, advertising it and making it even more so popular. But did you know that within the first brain dances it was almost impossible to encounter a situation where you could see yourself in a mirror? And this is partly because old brain dance recordings were bulky head worn contraptions. So actors avoided reflective surfaces. It was also because at this level of immersion, Seeing someone other than yourself in a mirror would cause extreme emotional distress, even anxiety attacks. Users were simply not accustomed to it. It is like in the early days of cinema, when people panicked while watching those old black and white movies of a steam train rolling towards them. 
same sort of thing people people were just not ready for it nevertheless with improvements in the field of brain dance technology and increased acceptance of the medium people grew more accustomed to the idea of seeing a different face when they looked in the mirror in 2077 recording devices are the size of a pair of glasses or even implanted using cortex neuralware to record and store data it's like recording with your cyber eyes alone and so the first generation of celebrity brain dancers were born people Nowadays, thanks to the university and popularity of brain dance as a medium, the top first person personalities are recognised all over the world. Their images are rarely altered in post production and they share the same status and attention enjoyed by movie stars and celebrities of old. Now that's how big brain dancing is people within the world of cyberpunk. Experiencing a brain dancing session from the performer's point of view puts the spectator at the very centre of the action, creating close, even intimate connections with the main character and the actor who plays them. Brain dance users can literally feel what it's like to be their favourite protagonist. The dedicated brain dance audience started to grow to incredible numbers, and many celebrity brain dancers started to release personal records of their daily lives in response to their growing popularity. At first, these were kind of documentaries from which fans could learn more about their beloved heroes and heroines. But this content quickly shifted into artificial stage productions in which one is able to live the actual life of their brain dance star. Still, everything comes with a price. Previously unknown psychological conditions have now become prevalent, like brain dance related dissociative identity disorder. Patients suffering from BDDID are so focused on a specific brain dancer that they start to believe that they are the individual portrayed in the brain dance. Watching themselves living in luxury villas and attending galas often arriving at the conclusion that they have been replaced by an imposter who has stolen their life. In some cases, this has accumulated in a patient's cacophys, an irresistible desire to murder the subject of their obsession, the brain dance celebrity they once loved and admired. So yeah, people, with the constant use of brain dance does come its effects. Brain dance overuse has other notable side effects, most notably addiction that can result in health problems due to inactivity, poor nutrition and mental isolation. No less dangerous is the potential for emotional dependency. Brain dance makes you experience the emotions of others, usually in a very deliberately powerful way. As various studios race to produce more overwhelming emotion packs in their newest productions, people who overuse brain dance are reported as appearing numb and emotionless. Real life seems dull and boring to them, and they find themselves unable and unwilling to forego brain dance, which to them has become the only source of emotional stimulation. So it's quite crazy, people, and like I said, it's proper deep. Now there are numerous ways in which you can experience brain dance within your own home, go out to an arcade, a club, whatever. So let's get into some of those. So let's start with arcades. Brain dance arcades cater to customers of every budget, with locations ranging from ultra exclusive high end clubs to more modest parlours, like the one you can see on screen now. For more about arcades, if your theatre subscription has expired or you can't afford your own playback device or you just want to hang with like minded geeks you can always visit a brain dance arcade. These places have tons of brain dance tapes that you can rent as long as you have a bit of money. Some arcades specialise in specific brain dance genres, the perfect place to go and meet other brain dance fans and discuss the newest productions. And yes people there are also arcades that offer the hardcore illegal brain dance stuff. So on arcade is where you can go and rent brain dance tapes, that's pretty cool. You can also use portable brain dance stations or a portable brain dance rig, but they have their own drawbacks, especially the older or cheaper versions. Their processors are usually not as efficient as those in stationary devices. Therefore, sessions may not feel as smooth, no emotions and sensations are sharp and vivid. Using brain dance outside of a safe zone, such as your house or the arcade room is always risky. You tend to not be aware of your surroundings when you're in the trance, so enjoying brain dance in the open is asking for trouble. Now, Most brain dance junkies use the cheap portable brain dance units 
and they're slowly turning themselves into turnips. Now you can experience brain dance within your own home but you will need a few pieces of equipment before you can experience brain dance and replay brain dance data. First you need a brain dance headset. These I think are known on the streets or street slang as wraiths. They come in wired or wireless varieties and they all need a base station to operate like a feeder or a home entertainment device. In addition to processing brain dance data and streaming it to the headset, a feeder has the advantage of also monitoring your vital functions and sustaining your organism during long sessions that you won't die from dehydration or starvation. It would take much longer anyway as some neighbours might be alerted by the feeder signal if you're lucky. All you need to do is put the headset on your head and plug a brain dance data disc into your personal part and you are ready to go so that's how you can experience it within your own home people now when you do do this within your own home and you activate that headset strong stroboscopic flashes force your mind into a catatonic trance like state almost like a shallow sleep in most cases this is a voluntary act no one can force brain dance on a conscious person Cooperation of a willing subject is required to properly experience a brain dance session. But it goes further people, some clubs use brain dance records to broadcast emotions among clubbers during concerts and live DJ shows. Users moods are rapidly and artificially altered to synchronise with the music's tempo or to match the tone of a certain song. Now that sounds pretty cool to me. Now if how deep brain dance is, it is unusual that people are trying to basically gain from this people taking advantage of this technology and there's a lot within cyberpunk 2077 that's going down there's even religious brain dances so let's get into a bit of that religious brain dance is the perfect way to experience religious ecstasy regardless of the dogma of your specific faith using brain dance in association with religious worship is becoming an increasingly popular practice christian sects have recreated the torture and crucifixion of christ so that their members can experience jesus's suffering first hand wow Controversially, buddies are hard at work attempting to recreate the state of Nirvana. And religious groups or people who take advantage of this, so to speak, are known as brain dance evangelists. And these are basically known to exploit religious brain dance to put the naive faithful in direct contact with the Lord and their church's bank account. These types of confident dance tricks are illegal almost everywhere, but they're unfortunately not uncommon. And then we have something called brain dance black. Now, black brain dance refers to brain dance recordings of criminal activity, often extremely violent, psychotically sexual, or both. Their editorial quality is very low, so they contain the brutal emotions and raw thoughts of a criminal or victim. Experiencing content like this can be very dangerous. There are very few barriers installed between the minds of the original recorder and the user and users can suffer significant psychological damage as a result. Nevertheless, Black Brain Dance remains very popular among the curious customers and is a reliable stream of revenue for various criminal organizations. And then we have the sexual side of it. Sex Brain Dance is a broad category that ranges from marital aids for traditional couples to kinky sex brain dance offered in cat houses and massage parlors. These productions allow for sexual partners to experience each other's sensations in real time. Specialized software is often used to prevent the transmission of unwanted thoughts, but some users insist on unprotected brain dance intercourse. So that's just another deep side to it, people. But there's also therapeutic brain dance, and this is an increasingly common treatment offered by many private clinics, often used with more traditional psychological therapy to treat mental illness. Sessions allow patients to face their fears in safe, simulated environments. The treatment is very effective, but also expensive due to long sessions and the complexly calibrated brain dance hardware that is necessary during the therapy's first stage. So there are many goods and bads to these people, but it seems like a crazy cycle for sure. So we'll finish off with the editing, basically the recordings and so forth. So we'll start with brain dance recordings. So brain dance technology is based on electromagnetic sensors that read the brain activity of the user. The signal is then converted from analog to digital and stored in the net or on a data carrying device like a chip or disc before editing. It's worth mentioning that to obtain quality data, recording devices should be calibrated to the person being recorded. Collaboration can take up to several weeks and requires the full cooperation of the individual. Lack of basic training and cooperation will most use all in data. Unusable in the editing process. 
That's the reason why it's almost impossible to use brain dance technology as a lie detector or to solve criminal cases by using it to record a suspect's thoughts. Brain dance recordings are inadmissible as evidence in the courts of law people. So the editing of brain dance and this basically sums up what all you need to know guys. So raw recordings should never be used in brain dance. They have too many scrapes of memories, stranded thoughts and faint emotions to be comprehensible or pleasant for most users. Due to the differences in physiology between the recorder and the viewer, material is perceived as muddy and unclear at best and replaying it could result in dizziness and nausea. Refining the data requires extensive editing on professional brain dance studio equipment, a computer with significant processing power, a collaborate device headset, a navigation glove, and a dedicated intelligence system should be enough for that. But it could still take a while, a single scene lasting just a few minutes might be performed, recorded and replayed a dozen of times or more. An editor is responsible for the whole process usually with the help of an IS. The first goal is to remove any subconscious thoughts and remove them from the scene, leaving only clear emotions and the pure essence of the recording. Thoughts are generally very disturbing for average commercial users, and these are what they always strive to erase from end user content. During the next step of the editing process, the material can be mixed with other feelings or sensations to adjust the emotional tone of the scene. Remixing requires a lot of experience and skill to make it feel natural, but the tremendously complicated process is made manageable through the use of IS to do most of the menial work for us. Without IS, completing edits in a reasonable time frame would be almost impossible. Using a spectator, another person to experience edited brain dance to better monitor the emotional content can expedite the process and make the final product more immersive and realistic. Editing is an exhausting process for the editor. Most of them stay in the business for 10 to 15 years at most. The burnout rate is very high, which is why most of the big companies have been replacing human editors with expensive intelligent systems in the last few years. So yeah guys, like I said, this thing is absolutely massive. The whole brain dance thing within Cyberpunk 2077 is truly deep. And hopefully today guys, I answered any question you might have on it. The highs, the lows, the side effects, and much much more and that is it guys we've come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps uh, if you have any other questions you're gonna let me know down below in that comment section just drop your question there that's pretty cool if you want to check out my other cyberpunk videos there's a playlist link down below also within my description so do check that out but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one